I'm Lila Bolton, and um, I teach leading to kindergarten through third grade kids at Aberdeen. This is my third year, and I think it's one of the best yeah. things I've ever done. I never thought I would, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because I had the best second grade teacher ever. Her name was uh, Mrs. Pill. Because, see, that's why I wanted to be a teacher. She was awesome. Yeah. She was awesome. Don't cut that out. I love my kids. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them. And they're all of them. And I love my principal. And I love who I work with. All of my teachers are great. This is our family. We're a family okay. here. You know, our school's a family. And Joanne makes us feel really good about everything and everybody works well together. Get better. Get better and better every day. <laughs> I, my long-term goal is to last for another 10 years. <laughs> sure. Well, technology, like I say, I started teaching when we had blackboards, chalkboards, <laughs> and then we had a whiteboard, and then they got the Promethean board. So I mean, it, I know people, it's not like a chalkboard, but it kind of is, and it just keeps them and like engaged, and you can motivate them a little bit more, because that's the way of the world for them. That's what keeps them engaged and everything, because they need it. They need that fast, fast, fast-paced stuff, and nothing's faster than the computer. You know, I was talking to one of my former students, and she came in, and she said they, she goes to Poston, and she said they had to go to the library and look for books to try to write a report with books. And I told her, yeah, that was back in my day, and you were limited to what you could really do your research papers on and stuff, because you had to see what was available to you. I mean, you had your school library and the public library, and that was it, and your little encyclopedias that were completely outdated by the time you were doing that. I like that it's at their fingertips, that they can gain so much knowledge so quickly and so fast. I mean, it's a lot more than what we could have done, I mean, just 20 years ago. When we're doing these reading programs on there that help the kids with phonics, um, all these different little things, and it's just a different style of learning. A kid that learns better that way, you have them on the computer, and then a kid that needs you and learns better, you know, with a one-on-one -on -one situation, you have that time, so you're not losing your kid. They all deserve it, every teacher. The kids, I mean, she wants that rigor. I mean, but she wants, you know, them to know that they can do it. You know, she wants to instill that, yeah, you can try harder, yeah, you can get better. That's what I tell my kids. You know, you are you, <laughs> and you can do anything, and that's true. I'm not saying you're gonna be a professional football player, but you know, really set your goals little by little by little, and go for the customer. They have to be loved. Somebody said, they're not going to remember what you taught them, they're going to remember what, how you made them feel. They do, because I want my kids, every single kid, to feel safe and to feel loved and to know that they're cared about. because. They are, every single one of them. I just met him, he's brand new, and he has stupid written on his hair. I took him and I said, let's just wash that up. It's over. And I just don't want anybody to ever feel like they don't count. That's what I love about my district, is because people talk about kids first. People talk about we're here for the kids. They say that, it's just a word, but I know right here at my school with my principal to every single one of them. We love our kids. We love them.
Myla Bolton is what I consider the epitome of a kids first professional teacher and that's why I chose her to represent our school. If I need to know a, a kid, their background, their family, how they're doing, um, I know her. She knows everybody. Um, she makes it a point to know them. Um, if you walk down the hallway with her, forget it. It could take 30 seconds. It takes several minutes because every kid comes up and hugs her and uh, kisses on her and loves her and she loves him back. And uh, so, um, besides being really super great Title I person, doing a great job with those kids with intervention, she just loves these kids and she loves being a teacher. And, uh, um, and we love having her here.